If you have the behaviours typical of an entrepreneur and are thinking about starting your own company, whether it be now or in the future, you need to recognise that regardless of whether you already have a full-time job or you've just graduated and entered into the labour market, the change in your lifestyle will be significant. Having a company is a great responsibility for yourself, your family, employees and even their families. It requires a lot of determination discipline, flexibility and commitment. You need to ask yourselves the following questions. Do I have the knowledge and skills needed? The general knowledge about how to set up a business, how to deal with taxes, paperwork and legal issues can easily be found online. No one was born an entrepreneur and of all the company owners had to deal with the same doubts. But the other thing is whether you have the knowledge about a field you want to work with. It's crucial to know the industry and the market before you invest your time and money into it. Do you have a network of people who could help you if anything goes wrong? Or on the other hand, do you already know someone reliable whom you will hire if your company starts to develop rapidly? At the same time, does your family know what you'll be struggling with? Starting working for yourself is usually hard work and time consuming. Sometimes your family and friends might feel neglected. Make them understand that this is only temporary and make sure that they believe this. Of course, not having a family or close friends doesn't exclude anyone from being an entrepreneur. You just need to care for people. No one has a company only for themselves. You'll have to work with associates, contractors, suppliers, and of course clients. Having previous experience about starting a business should make the process much easier. You already know the drill. But ironically, what if your previous business failed? It shouldn't stop you from trying again, but before you do, carefully analyse what went wrong last time. Maybe you should consult with someone more experienced and they can help you find out what the problem was. What's your motivation? Mission and vision are such cliched words, but there is a reason why they are used in every business book. You should know why you want to start your company. What are its main values, goals, how you should treat your clients. Of course, you can do everything only for profit, but in times of crisis, it's easier to stay on board if you believe in what you do. There are also kinds of motivation that you should avoid. Being desperate, frustrated, broke or burnt out seems like poor foundations of a new firm, as well as the need to prove something or to get your own back on someone. Most of the experienced entrepreneurs say that their only regret is that they didn't start their companies earlier. Waiting for the perfect moment is an illusion. The circumstances will never be as favourable as you wish them to be. So, starting a business is not always a good idea. The risk of failure is on you. There's no lower limit of income. No one will guarantee your salary as your employer did. It requires a lot of paperwork, taxes and legal issues. Sometimes it means feeling alone and insecure at the beginning. And it's surely about being responsible for yourself and for your environment. Not everyone can handle that. On the other hand, these are some reasons why you should consider being an entrepreneur. First of all, it means freedom. You don't have to ask for, for permission to do anything. It means you're working for your own profits, satisfaction and recognition. It gives you independence, the possibility to work with people you like and for clients you like to work with. You can be flexible. You can work when and where you want to. And of course, your income depends on your profitability. There's no upper limit.